Today we are going to build 3.5 inch FPV drone. So please join me to share some fun and challenges everybody who is building their own drone is inevitably facing. Also please make sure you subscribe to my channel because this will be a series of videos and uh, to make sure you are not missing any of them it would be better if you subscribed. Hello guys, a little bit of a teaser, this is where we are in the middle of the build, so if it looks cool for you, just follow me, subscribe and follow video series. Let's start with some components overview. For the frame we will be using Flyfish RC 3.5 inch frame, which is Volador frame. It comes with some nice TPU stuff and some uh, other goodies, we will use them later on when we will be assembling the frame. For the flight controller, we will be using PDB F405 40 amps all-in-one flight controller. It's very like nice controller and it comes with some value-added stuff like soldering board. You can try your soldering skills on this board. It comes with back module, it comes with a power extension board and it comes with USB adapter. So if your, your flight controller is buried inside the drone, you can do an extension module and put USB somewhere in accessible place. In terms of motors, we will be using 16 or 40 motor, uh, motors, but you might think it's uh, too small for the build, but my goal is not to like, build the beast. My goal is just to build just very stable flying 3.5 inch drone, and my goal is also to stay around 250 grams. So it's not the aim to build the cheapest or the fastest or the lightest drone, but to stay around 250 grams and with the ability to upgrade just in case. So this flight controller leaves us plenty of room to upgrade to bigger motors. Uh, that's why I'm starting with those motors. In terms of um, camera and VTX, we will be using Runcam Phoenix 2 analog camera and Solagood VTX, which is one watt VTX. There is an option to buy it with antenna and which I've actually done. So I had uh, VTX and antenna all in one. Also, in terms of receiver, we will be using Radio Master RP3 diversity antenna receiver. We will have two antennas for more, <coughs> more stable connection. For the battery, I will be using Airline uh, Tattoo 4S 650mA battery. It's uh, lighter than 800mA and it will probably help me to stay around 250 grams, but we will see at the end. By the way, uh, links to all of the components used in this build and also some other stuff like goggles, um, radio master pocket transmitter, battery charger, everything is in the links uh, down below, so feel free to check them out. And now you'll see price breakdown which I for the components of the drone, so please note this is in euro and it also including VAT, so it might be cheaper in your country. For me the cost of this drone was around 200 uh, 20 euro but I've added one more thing which is I think a killer feature for this drone it's a DVR which we will install into FPV drone and I'm going to have some footage directly from the drone not from goggles and we will compare actually the quality of those footage so for me the price was 223 euro including some bulk discount on Aliexpress uh, optionally you can discard DVR and it would be even cheaper like around 200 euros Frame assembly process seems to be quite straightforward. So we have our rear plate, uh, front plate, like that, uh, and uh, identical arms. It just uh, need to make sure that those three waves uh, cuts are going to front and rear of the drone, and two wave cuts are going to left and right by the sides. I think I'll need uh, first to put some screws into to hold. Uh, my construction, so I'll try to start with M2 8 by 8 screws and I am going to put them in here Okay, what I'll do next, I'll put that insert, which is some nice silicone insert, and I put some centerpiece, 
and now I can start adding arms like this. like this okay now I can add my top plate for the top plate I'm thinking it should be like this okay so it's falling down because it's not yet properly secured let me secure it I need a different is it the one? Yep, yeah, seems the one I need. Okay. I'm not too crazy about tightening up uh, screws now at the moment because they might there is a chance I've done something wrong or there is a chance we will need to some loose loosen some screws but yeah i'll just so slightly just slightly tighten them up and that's it keeping them pretty loose no much of no much of tightening in here okay seems that uh, that's it for the beginning now we need to put some standoffs i would say at this point so manual says i'll need to put manual says i need to put receiver holder by this stage but i'm not too crazy about putting receiver outside of the drone so if there is a capability we will do dry fit later on if there is a possibility i'll use i'll do it later on i'll, I'll i won't fit it now okay so now we, let's go with uh, some standoffs so we have m2 by 20 and m2 25 inserts Seems M2 by 20 inserts are going in here. Like this. So we can grab some screws which are M2 by 6. You see they have some Loctite in here, that's good, some blue Loctite. Okay, one. Just make sure you fit them nicely in the spaces provided for standoffs three Four. 
Yeah, so let uh, just uh, I'm not doing all those screws for the moment because I'm not too sure. I I'll have time for that later on. Uh, I'm just trying to build uh, the, the core part of the frame and do some dry fits before we even jump into some tightening up of the things. And two by six. Screws. Next on our path is camera mount left and camera mount right. So, okay, they're quite nice in here. To mount this, we need some 3D print part probably. So we need, help. we need to insert that front bumper. And for the left part, we will have the screws. The screws are M2 by 6 steel. Okay. Let's grab M2 by 6 screws. It's a little bit tight in here. To go through. If you want to I'm nearly there. Okay, I've done that. And now I can do right camera mount. Same and two by six screws. Same challenge on going through TPU bumper. I just need to put some efforts in here. Okay, so we have our camera mountings installed. What do we have to do next on this step? We can insert rear TPU. Okay, this is like antenna, VTX and receiver antenna. I'm not sure if we will use it. We will uh, see later on. I, I'm not, I, we have two antennas, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use uh, that bottom part for radio antenna. This one I'll definitely use for VTX. Okay. There is a great chance uh, we will lose them anyway because I can't see they are like participating in holding motors. They are not secured by any screws. So there is a huge possibility they will be lost at some point after some crashes, but we will add them anyway. We want to be nice 
looking drawn when they are brand new and shiny. Okay, so here we go. So I have them on. What's next? I think I'll add a uh, missing screws. So I have to do M2 by nine screws into the bottom. Where am I? M2 by nine screws, M2 by eight, two by six. Yeah, here we go, M2 by nine. M2 by nine screws in here. I need four of them. Now, what we will do, now we will put some screws. We can continue assembling the frame, but I think we will stop here and do some components dry run before we even put uh, our top mount. So let's see. Let's see how, how we put our insides into the drone. Okay, we will leave it here for now. And what we will do, uh, we will start doing some dry runs. What else do we have here? So we have GoPro mount, we have receiver mount, we don't need them at the moment. We have some spare screws, it seems. Everywhere we have some Standoffs, which we haven't used so far, maybe just spare standoffs, which is very kind of you, Flyfish RC. And now let's do some dry run of our components. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to remind you that all parts used in this build are linked in the description down below. Also, I would appreciate it if you subscribe and like and put your opinion in the comments down below. Thank you.